As soon as any as aspect of society is not included, the whole of society is not inclusive. Whether it's for racial reasons or whether it's for religious reasons or sexual orientation reasons you know, or for disability, I, I think that if we're not a compassionate society and we don't care for people who are more vulnerable, who need help, and particularly people, as I said, who are under the radar, who don't even get recognized, that's a reflection on us. The people make this a great organization, the families who are involved and connected and um, the individuals who um, inform our work. Uh, this organization is, is definitely an organization that has heart. Um, every person who's a member of the staff, every person who's a member of the board, every, all of our members, everyone that comes into this office is here because they're dedicated to a cause and they're dedicated not just to a cause but also to the people, to the families and the individuals that they know in their own lives that are directly impacted by this or just by being part of communities that have benefited so greatly from being inclusive. This organization is a great organization because the people who are involved, because the people who believe in what we can accomplish and how we can change community and how we can build capacity in community so that everybody can be included and everybody can be successful. We try to inspire the community by, by doing projects in the community. Um, we try to inspire people to see differently and see their world as possible and, and see the, the abilities of people as well as the right of belonging of people with disabilities in our communities. Um, so we, and we work in collaboration with other organizations in raising the voice of families and of people with disabilities and of the interests that they have uh, and the rights that they have to be fully included and fully supported. It's the greatest organization I ever work for because of all the people here. It's the people.